Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today in this video, we'll see about how to create a DBC file for CAN message. Before that, let's understand the basics. Let's say we are having two ECUs. One is a motor ECU and another one is infotainment ECU. Motor ECU will control the electric motor so that speed could be controlled. Input to the motor ECU will come from the CAN signal from infotainment ECU or body control ECU when we press the accelerator in the bike or a car. Based on that input, CAN signal is sent to the motor ECU and it controls the amount of torque to the motor. So we can call infotainment ECU as a master and the motor ECU as a slave. Here this motor ECU in a two-wheeler bike is controlled by a CAN signal from man another ECU. So for example, the master ECU will control the torque by sending a CAN signal in message 277, which is a CAN ID. I am taking a random CAN IDs. The slave ECU, which is a motor, will send the info to the master using a CAN signal. For example, uh, I am taking 388 containing two signals, rotor speed and battery current. Now open a DBC, which is from a vector. Go to file, create database, and then save it in a location. For creating, we need to add ECUs. So to add ECUs, we need to create network nodes. Create one for slave and create another one for master ECU. Now it will be added in ECUs also. Now to create a message for torque request, go to message, create a name torque request with Kennedy 0x277. Kennedy 277 is sent by master. So in the transmitter add master. now create a signal for the message add a torque request and add length to 15 bit depending upon your data this signal belongs to the message torque request so add it now apply if you open the torque request message you can see the layout of the signals mapped change the dlc to 8 or open the layout again so talk request is mapped from bit 0 to bit 14 you can see in the layout now we need to add one more message which will be transmitted by the motor issue which is a slave ECU with Kennedy uh, 388 containing status. Add a message with the name status with Kennedy 388. And the transmitter for this ECU is motor ECU. So add slave as a transmitter and then click on apply and OK. Now we need to create a rotor speed signal and map it to status message. If you go to the status message and check it is mapped. Now create one more signal with the name battery current and map it to the message status. Now go to the status and check the layout. Two signals are mapped to the message in byte 0 and byte 1. Now we had the transmitter part. Now we need to link the receiver part. For that you need to map under network node. For master ACU status message is Rx. So map it under mapped Rx signals. Now under Rx message status is added. And under mapped RX signals, rotor speed and battery current is added. Now for slave, RX is uh, torque request. So right click, edit node, and add a signal torque request. Now message and RX fields are updated. Go to the message. And if you want to change the bit position, you can change the start bit. Now change it to 15 and change the battery current to 24. Now you can check the layout, it's been changed. You can also add attributes. To add attributes, go to the view attribute definition and add your wanted info for now i'm adding my attribute with default value is 100 you can also add a string attribute also now go to the message and go to the attribute field you can see now it's been added with value 100 and you can also change the value this is how the simple dbc containing two issues is created thank you for watching this video guys until then see you next time